No, it's, a, it's a, as Wayne touched on, uh, you know, it's an exciting time and we've been, you know, to this point this summer, we've been talking about and developing with the, the growth of our young players and, uh, you know, with what our junior team did uh, this summer and our cadet team uh, qualifying for the world championships next year and the juniors having the best finish that they've had uh, historically at the world championships. Uh, and then to take the development team, I think, you know, we've set the stage and we've got so many people involved in the program and believing in our program and it, it, around the world now, people are starting to take notice and it, and it takes a few things. A guy may be getting drafted first overall, but when we start taking our team and representing our country the way that we have this summer so far, people are taking notice. And now is the time with the senior national team and it's our, our first chance uh, to get these guys ready for a competition. We had a camp last summer. Uh, where we were able to put them together, uh, start to build the relationship. I decided to, uh, to take the development team this year, uh, uh, the student age players, the best student age players, uh, and, and, and take them to China and Russia. And uh, that, was, that afforded me the opportunity to get back into the international game, to start to understand who our junior players were, our younger players were, and start to build the relationship with them. And uh, uh, to, you know, this week, you know, that turns, and, we're, and we, we've invited a couple of them to come and be part of this team. Uh, but we've got our NBA players in here. We've got a great mix of uh, uh, players who have played the game internationally before. And uh, we're excited about going to camp and, and, and seeing what, what, what happens with this team. And, you know, Steve talked about it. One of the strengths that we've had in our country before is our ability to develop a team. And, and that's going uh, to be paramount if we're going to be successful at, at the international level. Uh, the depth that we have in our country is, uh, is, is better than it's ever been. Uh, we had a, a, a coaches summit earlier this year where we had the coach from the cadet team, uh, Dave DeViro, and we had the junior team, uh, and Roy Rana there, and my assistant coaches, uh, Dave Smart and uh, Kelvin Sampson uh, and Greg Francis. And we, we got together and we decided and we, we looked at how we think we need to play as a country and how we're going to play moving forward. And, you know, with the depth that we have, we think that it plays right into um, the international competitions where there's sometimes nine games in 11 days and you know we need to figure out a way to play and we think that we have done that where we can maximize the number of good players that we have so that in those tournaments maybe when other countries are relying on one or two players and starting to fade we've got 10 players that you know can play and have played at a very high level and we can just take it to another level and that's the way we started with the uh, uh, e even with the student team this year uh, th those players uh, you know we, 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 we maximized their abilities by platooning and we, we, we played guys and that, that's the only way that they're going to get better is to be on the floor for lo longer minutes so that we can evaluate them and that they can play at a higher pace and uh, uh, you know we we're very pleased with the, with the results that we have but uh, moving into this camp uh, we think that we, we, we need to play the same way. We need to have a lot of players play and uh, uh, I, I love the mix that we have. Obviously, we don't have everybody here uh, for, for a variety of re reasons, and that's going to be the case uh, moving forward. There's gonna, always going to be something, whether, um, but we have our pool of athletes, and our pool of athletes is greater than it's ever been, and uh, I can't wait to get started.